We are looking at uh, R.D. Sharma Solutions, Class 10 Maths, Chapter 16, Exercise 16.3. Now, these questions are based on frustum. What is a frustum? If you take a cone and cut it from here, that is a plane. So, the shape that will be formed, this shape will be frustum. So, a bucket has top and bottom diameters of this much. So, bucket will be of this form. So, the top and bottom diameters are given. So, this is the diameter because this is also a circle, this is also a circle. And one more thing about the bucket, all the questions which, uh, which will have bucket, we need to understand that the one part will be open, the other part will be closed. So, here the diameter is given as 40. So, the radius will be 20. Here the diameter is 20, so the radius will be 10. Find the volume of the bucket if the depth is 12 cm. The depth is 12 cm. Volume has to be found out. Now we have the direct formula for this. That means volume of a frustum or you can say volume of the bucket is given by because it doesn't matter whether this is free or this is you know the sheet is there. The volume remains the same. So it will be this pi by 3 r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 into h. This r1 is this one, r2 is 10 and height is 12. So, we put the values here and it will come as 8800 centimeter cube. Now, the next part is we have to find out the uh, cost of the tin sheet, cost of the tin sheet for making the bucket at the rate of this much per decimeter square. Now, in order to find out the sheet, cost of sheet, we need to find out this. That is the slant height of the of this shape. So, the slant height, the formula is under root R2 minus R1 or R1 minus R2, it does not matter. It is R2 minus R1 whole square plus H square. H is this 12 square. So, when we use this one, see, we have already used this. So, 20 minus 10 whole square because this is the radius, this is the radius r2 minus r1 whole square plus h square that is 12 square and you take the root this will come as 15.620. Now, the formula of uh, the, the surface that is the area that is the total surface area is pi into r1 plus r2 into l pi into radius 1 into radius 2 into the l that is the slant height and then we have pi r2 square. What is the r2 square? See when you talk about a bucket this side is already open. So, we will only include this side because this is where the water lies or whatever is poured here. So, this R2 will be 10, this 10. So, we are using pi 20 plus 10, then this is the slant height pi into R2 square that is 10 square. So, this will come 17.87 decimeter square. Now, for 1 decimeter square, the cost of the tin sheet is 1.20 and for this much decimeter square, we just have to multiply 1.20 with 17.87. This will come as 21.40. A frustum of right circular cone has a diameter of this much of top 12 and uh, base is 20 and top is 12 and height is 3 cm. Find the area of its whole surface and volume. So, again we know that uh, a frustum is something like this. Actually, it, a, it is a cross section of a cone. So, the first frustum of a right circular cone has a diameter of base 20 centimeter. So, if say this is 20, of top is 12, say this is top. So, diameter is there. So, let me make, make it 10. 20 by 2 and 12 by 2 because these are diameters. So, this will be 10 and this will be 6. Okay. And the height is 3 centimeter. The height from here to here is 3 centimeter. Find the area of its whole surface and volume. So, volume of the first term we know that it is pi by 3 into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 into h. We all we have all the values 10 and 6 are the radius. Just put in here 10 square plus 6 square plus 10 into 6 and this is the height h. Now, in order to find out the whole surface that is now we need to find out the slant height. The slant height will be equal to under root r1 minus r2 or r2 minus r1 whichever you take because it is square so it does not matter. 
So 10 minus 6 whole square plus h square, h square is 3 square. It is going to come as under root 25, which is 5. Now we can use the total surface area. Uh, now here, it is not a bucket. So it will have this surface, which is pi into r1 plus r2 into L and this surface pi r1 square and this surface pi r2 square. That is how total surface area will be computed. So here r1 and r2 are 10 and 6, 10 and 6, I'm just computed. It is 678.85 centimeter square. The slant height of the frustum of a cone is 4 centimeter. And the perimeters of its circular end are 18 and 6. Find the curved surface of the frustum. Now the, fr the slant height is given that is L is given. Again. So now this perimeter of the circular end, perimeter means the circumference. So what is circumference of a circle? There are two circles. One is this one, second is this one. So 2 pi r that is the circumference of the first one is 18. So pi r will be, let us say it is pi r1, okay, pi r1 and pi r2, pi, pi r1, it is 18 by 2, it is 9. How about the second one, 2 pi r2 is, it is 6. So pi r2 will be equal to 3, 3. So what is the curve surface area? Curve surface area is simply pi into r1 plus r2 into L, that is pi r1 plus pi r2 into L pi r1 is 9, pi r2 is 3 and this slant height is already given 4, that is this height is given, multiply here. So 12 into 4 that is 48 centimeter square will come. The perimeter of the ends of a frustum of a right circular cone are 44 and 33. If the height of the frustum is 16 centimeter, find its volume, the slant surface and the total surface. So here again we have a frustum. Now the perimeter of the upper one is 44 and perimeter of here is 33. So this is 2 pi r1 is 44 and 2 pi r2 that is circumference of this one is 33. This is 2 into 22 by 7 into r1 equal to 44. So r1 will come as 7. Coming to this one. 2 into 22 by 7 into R2 equal to 33. So R2 will come as, uh, this is 33, it will come as, see, it is uh, 11, 2 is a 22, 11, 3 is a 33. So 7, 3 is a 21 by 4, 21 by 4, so it will come as 5.25. R2 is 5.25. Now, this land height L is under root R1 minus R2 whole square plus H square. So 7 use here because this is 7 and this is 5.25. 7 minus 5.25 5 whole square plus 16 square. So the Elvis, uh, the uh, slant height will come as this value. I'll just, uh, you know, try to compute it so, so that we can get the exact value. So this is 7 minus 5.25. So 7 minus 5.25 is equal to 1.75, okay. And uh, because it is square, so into 1.75, let us do it, 1.75, it is going to be 3 point, 3.0625 plus, plus uh, 16 into 16. So this will be 259.0625. So we have to take the under root of this 259 or let us say 260. Okay. So let me just compute it. I'll just compute it for you and that will come as the, I'm opening the calculator. So this is a root of 260. Let me take it as 260. Okay. So 260 under root of 260 is 16.12. So this is the answer. L. Okay. Now we have the slant height also. Okay. Find the volume, the slant surface and the total surface. So volume is simply 1 by 3 pi r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 into h. This is 7, this is 5.25 uh, and then h is 16. Right, see the height is given as 16 but the slant height is 16.1. Right? Actually it is 16.12. So 
this is so this we are going to use just compute it it will be 1898.56 but here when we find out the curve surface area it will be pi into r1 plus r2 into l this is 7 and this is 5.25 right just add it and l has to be used used as 16.1 and the total surface area is what you have already computed this one okay so just keep it here and you have to add pi r1 square plus pi r2 square that is this is the curve surface area then you have to add this part and this part also so pi r1 square plus pi r2 square r1 is uh, 7 r2 is 5.25 and computed it will be a 860.27 centimeter square if the radius of the circular ends of a conical bucket which is 45 centimeter high is 28 and 7 radius is given find the capacity of the bucket so already the r1 and r2 are given and height is also given so we use directly the formula pi by 3 r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 into h so just put in here 28 square 7 square and 45 this will come as this value if the radii of a circular end of a bucket 24 centimeter high are this much and this much uh, it's a bucket so it will be something like this now the radius here is from here to here is it, it is 15 from here to here it is 5 and what is the and uh, bucket 24 centimeter high. 24 is the height find the surface area of the bucket surface area of the bucket because this side is open so it will be curved surface area that is pi into r1 plus r2 into l plus this surface that is pi into 5 square this will be 5 square okay pi into 5 square so we have to find out the this slant height r1 is given r2 is given so we find out the slant height under root r1 minus r2 whole square or r2 minus r1 whole square plus h square so 5 minus 15 or 15 minus 5 whole square plus 24 square so l will come as 26 so you have to use 26 here so pi into 5 plus 15 into this l which is 26 we found out and pi r2 square now this r2 has to be 3 uh, sorry 5 so 5 square should be there so it will be uh, you just have to add 25 so 520 plus 25 it will be 545 545 pi this will be 545 pi this is the only difference the radius or radii of circular basis of a frustum of a right circular cone are this much and this much and height is 15 centimeter find the total surface area and the volume of the frustum so again the main thing is because the radius is already given r1 r2 is known to us and the height is also known to us height is 15 the only thing is to find out the slant height slant height will be r2 minus r1 whole square plus h square that is this uh, 12 minus 3 that is 9 whole square that is 81 and h square 15 square or it is actually the height is 15 square right so 15 square will be if it is 15 if it is uh, the slant height because slant height has to be uh, found out and uh, the height is 12 so let us choose it as 12 it is 12 so 12 square is what 144 81 plus 144 and under root is uh, this will be 225 and it will be 15 now we have the formula for the total surface area pi into r1 plus r2 into l and pi r1 square plus pi r2 square this is 12 this is 3 and l we found out to be 15 now we'll use 12 here and 3 here and then uh, 378 will be the total surface area when computing the volume of the frustum cone it will be 1 by 3 pi r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 into h so put all the values we know that is that will come as 756 pi and it will be this will be in uh, square units this will be in cubic units so this is the first part of uh, this exercise we'll be taking one more of this uh, till then thank you so much take care of yourself